Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are starting with design pattern in JavaScript. Design patterns are the solution to the common recurring problems. Over the time when the engineers, when they were trying to solve the problems at the greater scale, they found out that there were few things that were repeated often. So they found a pattern on that and they tried to solve that. Once they found the solution, they thought that it's better that it, it should be shared with the world so that the newer generation could understand the problems and they can tackle it better and focus on more important things. There are a list of design patterns that are available. Many are common and are general to the programming itself. Few are specific to the back end, few are specific to the front end. We are going to see the design pattern that are specific to the front end. In this series i think there are seven to eight design pattern that we are going to see the first one and the most common one is the singleton design pattern what singleton mean is <coughs> when we create an instance of an object sorry when we create an instance of a class we get an object so every time an instance is created what happens is a memory is occupied to store the object so if you are creating a ton of object in your code the memory gets filled up now there are cases where rather than creating a new instance or a fresh instance every time for the given object what we do is we can reuse the previously created instance as well so that's called singleton design pattern which means we create the instance once a single instance and we re reuse it wherever possible now the scenario for using a singleton design pattern is for example let's say you have your front end any front end application where you want to track the user activities so there is a analytics sdk that is available let's say uh, analytics library is available now when you create the instance of this analytics library you want that instance to be used anywhere you are importing the code in throughout the code base in the application because that single instance will be the point of contact to store whatever event or uh, whatever activity the user is performing through the application and then uh, through the single place you can push the analytics you can collect and store them somewhere or push to the server so we create a single instance of that after the singleton design pattern we are going to implement the analytics SDK it was a recent question that was asked to me in the Atlassian's interview so we are going to see how we can uh, implement the analytics SDK and SDK that will help us to collect the user data and uh, how to use singleton design pattern. Now let's see an example of how we can create a singleton pattern over here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating this class function counter. <clears throat> and here I'm having this variable. And now there are two functions increment and decrement so what increment does is it increments the count by one and decrements decrease the count by one now here i've created one instance so as you can see i'm invoking the function as a constructor so what constructor does is this will create a new object with these three things which is the count variable and the increment and decrement method <clears throat> and then that will be returned and stored in the counter so it will return a new object now let's say i create a counter too so this time also a new object will be created it will take space in the memory to store the object and then it will be written to the this variable so every time you create a new instance of the counter we get a fresh object and if i do the equality check over here we'll see that the value comes out false so here you can see right we got false let me clear this rerun to see so we get false because the instance of both the objects are different they are completely different object that's why they are not matching 
so let's say what if we want to create a singleton function that returns the same object whenever asked so what you will do is let's say we create this singleton and i'm creating this function a self invoking function over here you can create it however you want but uh, to hold the instance we have to form a closure so that's why i am creating this self invoking function and i am written an object from this that will have this get instance method and here if the instance is not present or if the variable is empty what we are going to do is instance is equals to new counter we are going to create a new counter from here and at the end we are going to return the instance from the function get instance so now if i let me remove this pull this variables down and here if i do singleton dot get instance for the first invocation what it will do is it will check if the instance is created or not if it's not created it will create a new instance and store that in the variable for the future and on the second or the consecutive calls it will return the already stored instance and now if i come over here and if i do the console log and the parity check for the both the objects you will see that it will come as true because both are the same object that has been written so here we got true so this is how you can create a simple singleton pat uh, this is how you can follow the singleton pattern to create a single instance of the object every time required now here this is specific to counter you can extend this function to accept any function and return the uh, uh, single instance of that and rather than using a single variable you will have to use map to store the instance so this is how singleton pattern works in the next video we'll see how to create an analytics sdk that we can use uh, throughout all the components in the react and uh, uh, we will use the singleton to create a single instance of the sdk and we'll pass it around now the code you see over here is it's in javascript but in react as you can uh, uh, if you are aware uh, if there is any state change right it triggers a component re-render so in react to implement singleton pattern uh, we oftenly use hooks or uh, use context because in the context there is a centralized place where we can store the things and then we can reuse it throughout the application so depending upon the framework and how framework works the implementation of singleton pattern differs but uh, uh, the definition and how it works remains same so it will return the same instance that can be used throughout the code base i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time